Today I'm going to demonstrate my Rife machine, which is for everyone actually, and I always try to get him to use it because it's really good for you and you can use it for so many conditions. So we're going to demonstrate on Ross today. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Can't wait. <laughs> It um, can be a little bit frightening if you haven't used it before because it feels a little bit like a shock. But first I'm going to explain what exactly the Rife machine is because a lot of people have asked me what the Rife machine is because I post videos of Rife machine settings now. So I will post videos of like the line settings for Rife machines, anything you want, Epstein bar, Babesia, Bartonella, anything you want, I'll post settings. But let's first explain how exactly it works for those of you who don't know yet. So Ross has heard me explain over and over to people that we meet all the time. I'm obsessed obsessed with anything to do with health and wellness so he's going to explain to you let's see if he does a good job and if he's listening to me like <laughs> you guys do so, okay. so i've heard the explanation uh, of the right machine quite a few times um, so the way it works is it vibrates at a frequency so everything in the the world vibrates at a frequency it's like a sound frequency so let's say for an example when a singer sings to the same frequency pitch as sound frequency pitch as a glass and then it can shatter the glass just by singing this works in a very similar way so basically when we put the set into for example Lyme disease it will start to vibrate and it will start giving you a nice vibration on in your hands um, and it will vibrate at the same frequency as the Lyme bacteria and then the same thing that will, will happen is just the, the Lyme bacteria will shatter just like the glass does and when the slime bacteria shatters, whether you're using um, the Rife machine or antibiotics or disulfiram, when it shatters the bacteria, it's like squashing a fly and it releases gunk and then you get um, toxins in your body that you need to process in your liver. And sometimes it's too many toxins to handle and it doesn't feel good. And that is what the Herxheimer reaction is. So whenever I say I was Herxing or I had such a bad Herxheimer reaction, that's what it is. And there's actually a detox setting on the Rife machine that you can use. But first we're going to demonstrate <laughs> with Ross. So what you do is you hold two bars in your hand. This is with my Rife machine. I'm gonna tell you which one it is now because I don't wanna get it wrong. Here we go. Okay, and then you select your setting. So what I'm gonna do for him is the, I'm gonna do one that's like really strong because I wanna get a reaction out of him so you guys see what it feels <laughs> like at first. You can make it stronger or, you can make it stronger or weaker, the setting, and I, recommend that you start off on a weaker setting because you might get a fright um i certainly did when i first used it okay let's do it whoa whoa <laughs> Whew, it's hectic <laughs> so it can be quite strong i'm gonna make it a little bit weaker for yeah, him now because i'm much. not gonna make him suffer <laughs> but um yeah so you can put it up and down as you can see there's like a plus button and a minus button so you can put it up and down and i do recommend um starting with it down and then you can slowly put it Ooh. up <laughs> I'm evil, sorry. Yeah, she likes it's good. almost Halloween, so <laughs> we're gonna be a little bit evil today. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna scroll through the settings a bit so that you can see what settings this Rife machine has, and I'm gonna show you how it works a little bit, and I'm also gonna show you in slow motion the name of the machine, because every time you turn this machine on, the name pops up. So let's quickly get into that and then I'm going to do a disulfiram update. Okay, so when I put the Rife machine on, I'm going to slow it down a little bit so that you can see what model it is. And then you can go through the settings. There are so many settings. I'll just go through them like this so you can see how many different settings there are. And then when you find the one that you want to do, you press play and then you can put it up or down. And as you can see, this one is 30 minutes long and you can put something on to watch and press play. And there you 
you go. Let me just show you a few of the main settings. Epstein-Barr, Q-Fever, Rickettsia. I use for my cholesterol because I have high cholesterol. Chlamydia, adrenal fatigue, allergies. There's a lot of settings on here. This is to bust biofilms. And there are even settings for cancer, if you can believe it. There's basically a setting for anything. If you have pain at that time of the month, there's a setting for that. If you have a headache, there's a setting for that. There's a setting for leaky gut, malaria, menopause. There's a setting for basically everything on this machine. So it's not just for bacterial infections or viral infections. It's for parasites too and for all kinds of ailments. You can use it for basically anything. Asthma, that's a good one. There's a setting for inflammation that I use as well. That's great. Anxiety, low blood pressure. So it's really a fantastic tool to use during your healing and when you're going through detox crises or Herxheimer crises. So I use my rice machine every single day. If it's one of your primary treatments and you're using it along with herbs or something, I would say use it on all of the settings that apply to you or your main infections every single day. Yes, it does take a long time and it does take a lot of commitment and it does take a lot of work, but it's certainly worth it. My rice machine was one of my greatest healing tools and it works absolutely amazingly. I'm always an advocate for saying that there's no one size fits all treatment, but this rice machine can certainly be a helpful tool in your healing and the great thing about Rife machines is that it doesn't have side effects so besides the Herxheimer reaction there aren't a lot of side effects on the Rife machine which is a great thing it's not like a pharmaceutical or a heavy medication so it's one of the easiest treatments you can do and it's so worth it my Rife machine is not expensive, it's one of the cheaper ones. So a lot of the time when people hear about a rack machine, they're like, oh, well, that's just not for me because it's too expensive. But my one is actually not that expensive and apparently you can get it online. So if I do find online where you can get this specific rack machine, I'll link it below. Now onto the disulfiram update. So if you've been watching my last videos and following my updates, you'll know that I took a 16 day break from disulfiram and then I took my first dose of disulfiram again after the 16 days, which was a 200 milligram pill. And most of the time Ross is at work, so I'm alone. So it's really scary and it's hard to kind of like do things to look after myself. It's hard to make food. It's hard to do those kind of things. If you've been through it, you know. Guys, when I'm on the videos, I look really positive and I probably look well besides my extreme paleness. But I actually really, really, really suffer. Like I think Ross can vouch for it. Like I have my very low moments and I suffer and I never feel okay. Like right now I'm feeling terrible. So I'm always kind of anxious and panicked about how I feel, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you can look positive on a YouTube channel, you know, you can look positive for the rest of the world, but however, Kimmy does suffer a lot on a daily basis. I mean, uh, and I have to go to work most days and uh, to leave her here to suffer is, it, it's probably the worst feeling that I get, to be honest, because I don't know how she's gonna feel today. It is ups and downs. Uh, with this disulfiram actually so yeah it is very unpredictable but that's just something that's a part of the medication it's unpredictable and everyone has different reactions and the interesting thing is that alcoholics have been using this medication for the past 70 plus years very safely and they don't get the side effects that people with Lyme disease get on this medication so it just goes to show that it's actually working it's killing the Lyme and as I say it's like a Herxheimer reaction you know you leave a lot of gunk behind and it's actually very toxic and I'm letting off a toxic smell. Luckily Ross's nose was blocked yesterday, but <laughs> I have been letting off a toxic smell. What would you say it smells like, the toxic it, smell? It's, it's almost like uh, chemicals, chemical smell. Um, that's how I would describe it. Mixed with? Mixed with... Like a metallic yeah, smell, I would like say. Like a metallic, yeah, metallic and, and chemical smell. Like if you've rubbed um, coins in your hands and then you smell your hands, or if you've like done the monkey bars before and you smell your hands, like that's actually how it kind of smells, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. 
Anyway, so I took 200 milligrams and then the next day I did feel those symptoms creeping back that I felt before the 16 day break and it was the reason why I took the 16 day break. So the symptoms that I specifically felt after my first 200 milligram dose after the 16 days was like swollen inside of my ears and swollen like um, in my neck, like almost like the glands in my neck and at the back of my neck and then a headache at the back of my head and like a hot feeling like a hot feeling in my face and at the back of my neck like hot and stuffy and what else was i feeling what else did i complain about like a tight chest yeah and i also think um when when you eat you you suffer a little yes. bit this is also one of the symptoms that i've noticed when i eat i get like acid reflux and i can't breathe properly i don't know if it is acid reflux but when i eat it's worse so maybe it's just the gastrointestinal symptoms coming out um, and then, so I took 200 milligrams and then three days later, I decided to take a smaller dose. So I took half. So I took a hundred milligrams three days later and it was much, much easier. Thank God, much easier. So I did still suffer with a bit of a tight chest, but what I do when I have that tight chest is I nebulize, but I don't put a lot of medication in the nebulizer. I just nebulize for like one minute, one or two minutes. And I put a little bit, and when I say I, it's usually him who does it for me because it's like in the middle of the night. Um, and I try not to use it too much because it uh, really makes my throat kind of dry and gives me a dry cough. So I try not to do it too much. And I can't use my asthma inhaler, my rescue inhaler, because apparently it has alcohol. So, so yeah, it's kind of like a catch-22. Um, and you also um, have the hot water with lemon, which also helps. I have hot water with lemon, yeah. Mm. I feel like I have a lot of phlegm, so I need to like cough up the phlegm. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been experiencing. So I took 200 milligrams, three days later I took 100 milligrams, and then three days later, which was last night, I took another 100 milligrams, and I just feel really tired today. I have also been having heart palpitations, and I would say the symptoms get more and more the next day, so it gets worse and worse the next day, but it's bearable. I'm not in a panic like I was at the before the 16 day break. I was in a panic. It was like feeling dangerous. So, so far, so good. Fingers crossed that it'll carry on this way. And yeah, Ross is off today. So he's able to say hi and join me. And I'm really happy about that. I'm sure you've seen me smiling a lot. <laughs> His off days are my off days too. I always say that whenever he's off, I'm happy. The good thing about it is not like antibiotics, where antibiotics is always a bad day. There are some good days involved. It yeah. does happen. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the partners out there? Um, I would say just keep on fighting with your partner. I mean, it's, it gets tough sometimes, but at the end of the day, they need you. They're the ones suffering, not you. So just keep on pushing through and eventually we'll all get there together to the finishing line. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the Rife machine. I'm going to post more settings on the Rife machine so that if you have a Rife machine that you have to program yourself, you know which frequencies to use. So I will post more videos like that. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.